So, we have probably the best game of the week here in the Steelers going up against the Saints. Uh, now, I just want to put this out there here. I've been uh, making these little puppets for the teams, and I like to have them be kind of self-deprecating. You know, something that's not necessarily making your team look awesome. Um, so, if there's a great idea out there for the Saints, I'd love to hear for you, from you Saints fans for something to put together. That being said, uh, let's get to the game. The, um, the Steelers are fantastic. The Saints are fantastic. They're offensive powerhouses with strong defenses to back them up. Um, the difference here is, well, the Saints are at home, and they're a much different team at home. Um, mostly Drew Brees. Drew Brees is lights out in that dome. And they've got a very, very strong running game, so they can't just, you know, play the pass and play pass rush. They've got to stay honest. And that's going to be a key factor here because with James Conner's high ankle sprain, possibly keeping him out, possibly allowing him to play, that's going to be a big factor to allow the Steelers to produce something similar. Their running game stayed pretty much the same when Bell went out because Conner was fantastic in replacement. Um, they weren't expecting that. Nobody was expecting that. Um, I picked him up for my fantasy league, though, so, you know. Um, either way, they don't have that behind Connor. All right, Samuel is serviceable at best. He knows the offense. He can catch a ball. He can hit a running hole fine, but he's not dynamic. And that's what they need in that offense, a dynamic player in the backfield to really be the engine that drives that offense. So now it's all on Ben Roethlisberger, assuming, of course, Connor stays out of this game. And he's got some very good receiving threats. He's a smart quarterback that knows how to distribute the ball. He's a big, strong guy, so even if he gets hit a bunch of times, it's not really going to be a worry. Um, but Juju Smith-Schuster, Antonio Brown, and the remaining receiving cast of uh, tight ends, receivers, and other running backs are not a match for... What's on the other side with Drew Brees throwing to Michael Thomas and his cast of characters behind that? Um, mostly because of the running backs. Alvin Kamara and Mark Ingram are studs. So, Pittsburgh de defense needs to be head and shoulders above the quality of what the Saints the Saints can produce on defense in order to make up for that deficiency on the offensive side. And it's not. Um, they're both pretty even on defense. So this is very much the Saints game, assuming, of course, Connor stays on the bench. Um, if he's in the lineup, and keep an eye on the injury report for that, it's going to be a little bit closer. I still picture the Saints winning because they're simply the better more well-rounded team. Now, Connor's healthy. The Saints win by 3-6. to six. Uh, Connor's on the bench. Saints are running away with this. 10 to 15 points. So it's going to be fun to watch. They're really strong offensive teams with good quarterbacks. Um, it can be close if Connor's healthy, but I expect the Saints to really lump up on the Steelers in this one, really.